Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail. I'm coming today to do a MeWe challenge. So I uh, hope you're ready to, to uh, work with me and thanks for being here. I really appreciate everybody coming. Um, I'm going to try to make it not very long. Uh, the challenge for this, this time is me that we have to use music paper, a card, something that flies, stamp, and a paper clip. And of course those things are left open to interpretation because a stamp could be a postage stamp or a, a you know something that you stamp with a rubber stamp or whatever. And card could be a playing card. In this case I'm using a note card and I'm going to decorate the front and then I glue it like this and it becomes a pocket in a journal and you can open it up and it's a journaling spot. This is something that I coffee dyed a while ago. So that's what I'm going to use. For my something that flies I'm going to use these birds on a napkin and I've already um, taken a piece of the napkin and if you um, haven't seen this before ugh, getting my stamp. You can take the back off like this with a, a piece of um, tape, but then this one has another layer, so I have to take off both layers. Once you get it started, it's fairly easy. And then what I did is I took a paintbrush and I just kind of painted water around the part that I wanted on my card. And um, then I, uh, I ripped it out. So it was like this. And I just kind of painted water around it. It makes it really easy to rip out. You can just rip it too. But I've already done that ahead. And I'm going to Mod Podge that on here. So I think I'll start with that because that's got to be um, before uh, anything else. Get my Mod Podge. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I'm going to be putting it on, I'm thinking, like here. So, get some Mod Podge down there. The Mod Podge is getting down to the bottom. I'm going to put Mod Podge over the top of it as well. You can tell when I'm thinking I sh my mouth closes. <sighs> Sometimes I think, I don't think, and my mouth is open. That's not good, though. <laughs> oh, I'm ripping it. Darn it. Sometimes when they have that extra... Piece. I'll just take some of that off then. It'll work. Sometimes I think this type of rubber thing is not, or this type of, of brush is not a good one to use. It's a little rough on the napkin. I have to find something else to do. Okay. All right. That'll need to dry. But I can do other things when I'm doing that. All right. Um, the, uh, music paper I thought 
thought I had everything off, but apparently I didn't. I ripped a piece of music paper that I thought would work really good. And I'm just gonna, uh, going to, I always say gonna, ink the sides. So that it will stand out more on here. And I'm going to be gluing this on right about here. And the weather's gotten really nice here. It was cold in Florida for a while and now it's nice. So I'm doing exercises uh, for my feet that my derm... Ugh podiatrist gave me so that I can walk again because I was getting cramps in my feet and he told me what to do to get rid of that so that I could walk again I used to walk miles every day all right okay now I have I do mass making of snippets and this is one that I pulled out and I'm going to be doing that soon on video because I'm getting low on these and so I pulled this one out so that I could put it here and that's going to be my stamp so then we'll have the card the thing that flies the music and the stamp and all we will have to do coming up is the paper clip Okay, so I'm going to put this on, and then I'll set it aside to dry while I get the paper clip ready. I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac, and I'm not going to put it by the edges because I'm going to pin, put a pin through there, and that'll be where my paper clip will go on. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Paper clip's going to end up hanging down right here. So the other day I, I did uh, some paper clips, uh, dangly paper clips, and this is the type of thing that, that I did. So I've got a whole bunch of them, but I'm going to make one real quick for this so lots of them I started putting beads on there's no end to the imagination when you're working on those so I'm going to start with a purple one and I'm going to put a little bit of cheesecloth on because it sort of looks like what would be uh, for a bird nest to me so um, I won't have to really glue that on it'll just it'll just get caught in everything that I that I put around it and I have a little of this pinky purple mauve I guess um, thread decorative thread oops I need this one and I'm gonna get that started on the back doesn't want me to hold it. <laughs> Maybe I should have glued that. Hmm. And I'm going to wind that around. Hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just winding the thread around. All right. I need to cut that off. I cut a little of this off where it started too because it's going out from behind. And glue that in place. I 
and just hold that a sec. Actually want a little bit of this to kind of hang out. Okay. Now I have this this rainbow kind of thread, so I can get some other colors in there that are on the card, like the green and and uh, there's gold and green and so I'm going to put some of this around. Get that started. Glue it on. If you want to see how I do these more thoroughly, I've got a video just on this. Ugh. Kind of wind around in the same place a little bit. It makes it easier. So I'm getting some green on there. Now it's a little blue. Birds are blue, or one of the birds is blue. Whew. Gotta turn it around. Got some purple. So that gives it a little bit more color. All right, now I'm going to do some some gold, but I, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. I usually cut them about 12 inches. I'm going to make it a little bit longer because I'm going to put some beads on it. And um, just an experiment. You get to see me experiment. All right. I'm going to put this on so that it's doubled approximately. All right. I'm going to twist it a little bit. And I have some seed beads. Should have something to keep them from rolling around. We'll see how I do. Maybe I'll just put this on there. Uh. Way more than I need, but that's life. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put a bead on one of these wires. And then to get it to stay there, guess what? It fell off. No, it didn't go down. There it is. Get it down by the bottom, and then I'm just going to do a little twist to get it started. Okay. Keep the bead where I want it. All right. I think I'll put another one. But the beads are going everywhere. So I'm hitting them with my wire. Get that down to the bottom.
and do a twist to keep the bead there. I'm going to go around to the back. And I'm going to put another bead on over here. I might twist it a little first to keep it there. I feel like I'm all thumbs today. All right. Do a twist. Pick up a bead. I have so many supplies. I've done so many crafts in my life, and beading is one, and I still do it. I don't make jewelry much anymore, but I make hair uh, hair ties, and or clips like we wore in the 60s to keep up my long hair. And... Um, Do try something here. Go around both sides. Um, and I make amulet bags and uh, things to put on pans. But I have some good friends uh, from in Wisconsin, and we zoom every week. It's a beater zoom, but we aren't always beating. Some of them are, but not me. I'm trying to catch up on lots of stuff that I need to get caught up on, like finishing some quilts that I have had finished, except for quilting for a long time. Exactly how I envisioned it, but it's working. Maybe a little more blingy on it. Okay. Now I think I'm going to go around and through the paper clip here. And I hope I'm in the frame. I've been holding it closer to my body. Okay. Um, I have an idea. I'm going to try it. <laughs> Why not? Step. Put one on the other other one. Twist it. Twisting takes up more space than I was thinking it would. Maybe I'm not twisting it tight enough. Twist it. My husband's outside cleaning our little sheds out. So he'll have a space to put our cushions for our chairs because we had them in my my studio and the cat chewed a hole in the corner. So guess who has to do a patch today? Have 
have to close it up so no little lizards get in there and go inside the cushion. Okay. And now I think I'm going to kind of wind this in a little circle. Twisting it a little bit, pushing it to the back. I'm going to cut the extra stuff off and push this into the thing so nobody gets scratched. Well, that's kind of cute. All right, now I have this. <laughs> I got beads everywhere. Okay. So, um, okay, I'm going to put this on the bottom, little charm. I find where the little opening is. And one towards, one away. This is the same back or front, so it doesn't matter how I put it on here. And then we'll get that again. And put that together. Now that makes it very tight so that this won't fall off when you do it that way. Okay. Might want to cut these a little shorter. Okay. And somewhere I have, oh, here it is. Because it's black. I have a bulb pin. And I am going to pin that through here. And. Music paper, something that flies, paper clip, and stamp. Hmm. It's okay. I like it. Okay, so I'm done, and it took probably a little longer than I thought it would, so thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> thanks for being a subscriber, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye from Carol.